hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome to today's video. It's my birthday. Having a January birthday straight after Christmas. It's always that kind of time where you just kind of are done with the festivities, ready for a brand new year, gets to the 4th of Jan and it's my birthday. So it's always something to look forward to. I know people always talk about January blues, but for me, January is always an exciting month. It is always a month of sales online and lots of shopping. With it being my birthday month, I justify every spend that I do. So I thought I would do a bit of a vlog style video today, but also I just wanted to firstly thank Lily Silk for very kindly working with me on today's video and sponsoring this part of today's video. So I have a couple of products that have arrived that I wanted to share with you. If you've never heard of Lily Silk before, I have personally heard of them, I've shopped them. I first heard of them through Lydia Elise Millen's channel. I know she has a lot of their bedding, blouses and things. So they are an online retailer that sell 100% pure mulberry silk items from blouses to pillowcases and bedding to scrunchies, all with amazing benefits to your hair, your skin, anti-aging, antibacterial, hypoallergenic. For me the main benefit that I have noticed is recently I have started using 100% silk scrunchies and this for my hair has been the most amazing benefit just because it doesn't pull, it doesn't snag. I have quite long hair naturally so to have quite a lot of weight tied up on the top of my head with a elastic tie or bubble, whatever, it can cause breakage. So to have silk scrunchies, which I have a set here, has just been perfect. So this is actually a black set with all the different sizes. So there's the biggest one here, second to biggest here. That one there is probably the one I use most often. And then the skinny ones as well, I use quite a lot. So uh, this is a set that I got, but they do have such a wide variety of colors and you can buy them as individuals as well. So if you want to make the switch and keep your hair healthy, then I will leave a link to these below, a direct link to Lily Silk, along with a discount code for you guys. So in addition to the silk scrunchies from Lily Silk, I have also got some pillowcases. So I'm just gonna show you one. They also come in these beautiful little gift boxes and with the branded tissue paper as well. I just think it makes for a great gift. This is a beautiful kind of ivory shade, which I just thought was perfect for our bedding. If I just show you a close up of the actual silk itself, it is absolutely beautiful. Really, really great quality, really soft. I'll also just show you the spec of the products detailed closer up as well if you were interested. The care label is on there as well and also the material weight and finished size there as well. When I curl my hair, it also doesn't drop out as much after a night's sleep on them. I think they do turbans as well actually that you can wrap your hair up and sleep in them at night so I might give them a try. They also do slip dresses and something else that I'm really tempted to get my hands on, some silk pyjamas. Thank you to Lady Silk for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Now on to the birthday fun. I hope you enjoy this vlog and do let me know any sort of video ideas that you would like to see throughout the start of this year, 2021. Brand new year, brand new fresh start. So yeah, any suggestions on video ideas you want to see me do this year, pop them in the comments below. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you guys very soon. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are, are, are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look 
love you, darling. Bye. Okay. Bye. Happy birthday. Thank you. I've just been on the phone to my mum that whole time. So I'm just doing a bit of a get ready with me this morning. Tom's downstairs making my little birthday breakfast. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I must spend my money. I might spend some money today. Um, I was actually just saying to my mum on the phone, it's a shame really because there's <laughs> tier four. There's literally no shops open. There's no restaurants open. There's other than a walk in the countryside, which we've been doing quite a lot, there's nothing I can do. Um, there's nothing I can do. To be fair, I'm, I'm kind of used to January birthday, January 4th especially, especially this year because it's a Monday. I can see everyone walking to school, driving to work. It's like first day back. Everyone's officially on the, it's Monday, new year, new me, new diet, new health regime. Um, back to work, back to school, and I'm like, it's my birthday. <laughs> so um, what can I do really? We purposefully worked on Saturday so that we had a bit of a day off today. So we might go for a walk or something. Um, might get a takeaway tonight. I'm actually, I don't know if I just showed you that, but I just popped a bit of the Benefit Cookie highlighter on top of the Iconic. Sometimes I just like to, I might take a birthday pic. Um, for Instagram, so I like to add a little extra highlight on top of the wet product with dry, just to help it set and everything. Um, what else do I need to do? I might just pop a little bit of this bronzer, the Hula Toasted, which is like a darker version than Hula. Just pop that in my crease. My phone's dinging away, people messaging. Um, just like that, and then a bit of mascara, a bit of lippy, and we're good to go. I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set under my eyes, and um, I usually do a bit on my T zone as well. Sorry, I forgot I was on camera then doing that face. <laughs> Do my smile lines as well because I'm getting old at 29 now and I get smile lines. I'm joking, I'm not getting old. Next year's the big 3-0. Ooh, new decade. If any of you are in your 30s, in fact a lot of my viewers are actually in their 30s. Let me know, do you prefer your 20s or your 30s? I think I'm looking forward to my 30s. I've got my new white company pyjamas on that Tom bought me for Christmas. I'm going to use the NARS Climax Mascara. This is actually the Climax Extreme. And to be honest with you, I like it, but I do find sometimes, not all the time, but maybe it's how I apply it or whatever, I don't know. But sometimes it does transfer, like, below my eyelids, which is a little bit annoying. So I just have to be quite careful when I put it on. It is a really nice mascara, though. But I just have noticed on the odd occasion a bit of transfer which looks a bit like dark circles under the eyes and then I think which mascara did I put on today and it's this one still gonna put it on though because it's still still a lovely mascara just pop a bit of the Bobbi Brown in truffle this is the longwear cream shadow stick and this is like a really nice color for highlight I just like to pop a tiny bit on my brow bone and on the inner corners of my eyes and then, as always with my lip combo, I always wear the number seven lip precision pencil from Boots in the shade Nude. And then I just put a lip balm over the top. Try off any excess product. This is the Jo Malone, jo Malone? Jo Malone Vitamin E Lip Conditioner. I love this. This is the third one I've owned. And to be fair, I tend to buy them at Christmas time, so they do last me a good while. There we go. Is it out your little version, Lacura? Makeup setting spray. It's like the dupe for Urban Decay. Right, 
I'm going to curl my hair. I'm just going to use my GHD. Let me just show you. This is the GHD uh, Curve tool. And I'm going to pop on some Function of Freya serum, hair serum from Function of Beauty. Just run that through the ends once I've curled it to separate the curls. Spritz some hairspray. Good to go. I'll see you guys downstairs for my birthday breakfast. All right, let's go downstairs and see my morning breakfast. Oh. You ready for me? Ready. Are you? What? Balloons! You did get balloons. Now you've got chocolate on your teeth, so have you already eaten some? I have to look for amendments to the pastries. Oh. Yay, you got balloons. Woo! Oh, thank you, Tommy. Oh, look. This is my birthday cake. I did actually choose it myself because <laughs> I said, not chocolate. I want something sweet with raspberry jam and buttercream. And then I got some prezzies. Yay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> bought these for birthday breakfast. So Tom made them this morning. Right, let's enjoy. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow There is clearly a theme. <laughs> I've got three dog cards. I'm just obsessed. So we're gonna tuck into this later, I think. My mum and dad got me this beautiful coffee table book. Got some chocolates as well. And it's called The Family Album of Wild Africa. How nice is that front cover? I love that. I got a, in fact, I got three white company vouchers. So I might even treat myself to some like bedding, towels for the house, cream crew neck from a friend. So I'm actually gonna wear this today, I think. I think I'm gonna wear a cream teddy coat, this underneath, some nice leggings, walking boots. Mm, thank you for my birthday extravaganza and look forward to a piece of cake later. And then another thing that Tom got me um, is this, you can't really see it. I'm gonna have to like build it. Well, I say I'm gonna have to build it. <laughs> Tom's gonna build it. It's like a parcel box that you put outside. I've been after one of these. Pretty big actually. It's um, weatherproof and everything because I had a Tupperware box outside and over Christmas it froze shut so when the postman tried he opened the lid and it shattered everywhere. So now I have a really nice one. Oh, he's wanting a cuddle. Do you? I had a dream that we um we're in Dubai. Oh, yeah. No, but we, we'd we only booked... Like a... every other influence in the world. <laughs> we'd only booked a room purposefully for one person. Mm -hmm. And I think there were about four of us that went and we just tried to get away with staying in a room for one person. You don't know four people. Oh, I do know four <laughs> people. I know you. I know my mum and dad. <laughs> and my brother. <laughs> Walking on them steps there, would you reckon? No. Come on, no. That's what mm. we're just deliberating what to do. I think we should just commit to this now. He said that you can park up. We basically decided to do a walk at a place called Dunham Massey. If you're from the South Manchester area, it's renowned for having lots of deer and being really pretty. So we've driven up here, followed the sat nav, gone into what we think might be the car park, and a guy's on the front saying, Have you pre booked? And we were like, No. He said, oh, well, you can't. We've got 2,500 people booked in today. And because the paths are narrow at one point, that they have a cap and a limit on how many people you're allowed to do the walk. Which I wasn't expecting that. So he said instead, maybe try Tatton Park. And there's a deer park there. And that you don't have to pre-book Tatton Park. I can't believe you have to pre-book a walk because of blooming COVID. What has the world turned to? Oh dear. Anyway, we're only 10 minutes drive from uh, Tatton Park, which like I said, is meant to be nice. You're going right at the end. So we will 
try that and fingers crossed we'll be in luck because when I did type it into my sat nav it said Tatton Park Tatton Park might be closed today <laughs> so uh, fingers crossed it's not having never been here before <laughs> looks like it's closed who would have thought such a palaver just to go on a walk we have been window shopping a lot of real nice houses though, haven't we? Just planning for the show, nothing to do with I know, I was going to say it's dated March 2020. Um, I think there's another car park. It's pretty snow though. God, some of these houses are insane. Shash is known for being a wealthy area, but the houses are big, aren't they? Yes. yes. <laughs> I don't think I'd move from our house for anything other than something of that size. More know? land. Yeah. Or bigger house, yeah. I prefer to have two or three houses like in different countries than one massive one in England. See, it's uh, very different. Yeah. Only because I think I've travelled a lot and I've lived in three different countries. Oh, yeah. I have though, I have no desires to live anywhere else other than England. I feel like I've been there, done that. There is no one walking. Not a good sign. Oh, closed Mondays. Oh my god! Why? <sighs> what are we gonna do? There's no restaurants or cafes open for us to go to. There's not even a park open for us to walk in. Oh dear. Oh, I'm out of breath. We actually just went out. We thought, well, let's just walk up there, even though we can't drive in. And the, you know, the gate's open. Let's just have a little walk in the snow here. We've parked up on the side of the road. Anyway, a guy drove past. Uh, I'd get back in your car. There's a shoot going on. And then, bang. I've got something to make you feel better as well. Go on. I'm going to have to turn the camera off. Three or four people have tried to drive in behind us and realised that it's closed. So we're not the only ones to pull up and think that we'll go for a nice walk and you can't. Anyway, I think we're just going to head home, are we? We'll find another walk. <laughs> <laughs> two down, two failures. <laughs> Tommy, yeah, what are we gonna do? Okay. So we've driven up to a place called, um, well, in Nutsford, it's Friars Garden Centre. So I thought, oh, we'll just have a browse around a garden centre. It's open. What have we done? We've forgotten masks. So I'm hoping that they have some that we can buy. Look at this guy. <laughs> I like all these little positivity books. They're so cute. I actually think I have that one. So they do have all the Christmas stuff out. I might see if there's any sale bits that we could pick up for next year. Definitely coming back here next year for Christmas. Look, 50% off. They have the little radar houses that I like to collect and they're half price. Cheers. Chin chin. What have you gone for? Terry's hot chocolate. Terry's hot chocolate? This way. I think so, yeah. And I've got myself a green tea. I'm going to have a piece of cake when I get back. Birthday cake. Oh god, if I fall over in this coat. Look at the mud on the floor. And look at the colour of this coat. Home sweet home. And I've just got home to a card and it's from Lydia and Tim. Oh, I miss Lydia so much. I feel like... The last time I saw Lydia was start of the year. Um, well, start of last year. I'm gonna force Tom to play this with me tonight. We played it over Christmas. I actually got this from Tom's mum for Christmas. It's just like a car game. It's kind of a, a mix between Rummy and Uno. But yeah, so that's something I'm gonna force Tom to do later because I love a good game. I feel like I might show you some of the little bits that I got for Christmas. Oh, does anyone else do this? A complete waste of time curling my hair today. When I wear a hat and a teddy coat, all my hair underneath gets matted. It's so annoying. It's like really knotty. So I've just demolished a favourite box of chocolates. Gillian, not just. This is for Christmas, but it's now gone. Okay, so I've got loads of goodies for Christmas chocolate bits. I didn't show any of this in my uh, Christmas day vlog, so these are delish. Bailey's chocolate twists. Obviously a chocolate orange, because who doesn't get chocolate orange on Christmas? And then this from Hotel Chocolat, little rocky road. I might have that 
next in line after my birthday cake. These are from a family friend. She knows I love Biscoff, so did well there to get me some of them. And she got me Reese's as well. Selection boxes. I'm excited for the Oreo one. And a Maltese's one as well. And then I also got this from my mum and dad. And it was kind of more of a housewarming gift, but I love it. And it's from Stone Glow. It's a perfume mist diffuser. One of these like aromatic diffusers you fill up with water. There's a little water thing there. I'll show you what it looks like I just love it. Especially if you like black accents in your home like I do. Especially when we actually get around to doing all the renovations and styling the house properly. I think initially, because we're going to start on the upstairs, I'll have this in our bedroom on the side somewhere because I love it. And actually to go with it, mum also got me some of the fragrance oils. Mum. Mum and dad got me some of the fragrance oil from the white company in the spa scent I got a mug with some dogs on it because we all know I'm dog obsessed I even got a few birthday cards with dogs on as you saw so that's cool it's a nice latte size from that um Le Creuset again mum knows I'm a bit of collector of Le Creuset bits from TK Maxx so she found this lemon juicer which I don't have so we have one now how nice is this bottle bag from home bargains i think my mum got these from and then a traditional christmas tipple baileys speaking of being being a gamer some sudokus and word searches um i actually asked for these i've got a new pair of my lakeland white washing up gloves that i love if ever you want to treat yourself to a nice pair of washing up gloves they are about fiber but then they're, they're moisturizing tom's laughing at the fact that i asked for these for christmas in my stocking but honestly, they're from Lakeland. They're moisturizing, so you don't get that. You could wear them all day and you don't get that horrible clammy kind of sensation. Love them. And then also some more heavy duty black ones and some gardening ones. And this, just the other day as well, we were clearing out the garden and raking up all the leaves that have fallen down. And I was thinking, oh, how am I gonna pick these up to put them in the green bin? Now I have some nice gardening gloves and i asked for some other mitts the same ones that my mum has they're just from wilco's just a plain black because tom has trashed these ones that i got from home bargains a while back he accidentally burnt the like singed them so we've just been using them for now knowing that mum was going to get me a brand new pair just plain black wilco's and then she got me two of these cushions uh, just to go like on a spare bed eventually when we get around to renovating and then she also got me oh, so bad that you say my mum got me because it's clearly my parents but let's face it at least in our family mum does all the shopping family friends also got me and tom this tom courage cookbook we all know tom's a big fan of cooking and i love the aesthetic of this book so it's the hand and flowers it's 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 his new cookbook with loads of different recipes in and imagery and yeah love that and then last but not least i think i also got another puzzle and i'm very excited for this one because we did the harry potter marathon and completed it before christmas Tom has now officially watched all the harry potter movies because he hadn't seen a single one before this year um i'm excited I'm excited to do this jigsaw. He's saying, do not put me down as a Harry Potter fan. Doesn't I love Harry Potter. And then last but not least, mum also got me this big cushion and it is the softest thing ever. So nice. I've just been like cuddling it every night in front of the TV on the sofa. But anyway, do you want a piece of cake? Oh, in fact, should put the oven on and have that. Bought this for us to have and it's a caramelized onion cranberry bread with a camembert in the middle. One of these like tear and share things from Boone's. So excited for that. Now I wanna see this, this coffee table book. Mum and dad got me for my birthday. Oh my God, it's all like black and white imagery. <gasps> How nice is that? That is so cool. It's literally just a book full of imagery. Black and white photography in Africa. Love this. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I want to get into that camembert. Oh, yes. It's perfect. This is like my favourite kind of Christmas food. I like obviously the Christmas dinner as well. Mm. 
It's all the canapes and the picky bits and the cheeses that I like most. Tom's just made the nicest addition with this as well, red on your marmalade. Got the candle lit and I've just put on this where my camera's going crazy. Um, new series we've been watching, Bridgerton, which so far we're on season one, episode four, and it's good. Do you want a little piece, a big piece, a medium piece? Pardon? One for me, please. Just a little one. Ready to scream? Scream? Yeah, when you get to the end. I'm sure that's like what you're meant to do. Well, just me. <laughs> yes. It's my birthday cake for 2021. 29th birthday. Happy birthday to me. Mm. Not a big Christmas. <laughs> I want to play a game. Name the film. No. Bodyguard. Sword. Bodyguard. I used to love the Saw movies. Now I can't watch them. I swear I've got more squeamish as I've got older. Okay, so this is a phase ten. The idea of the game is to complete all ten phases. I.e. as oh. Oh, I've got into my pyjama bottoms, if you haven't already noticed. <gasps> Flittering up. Is that a white one as well? Mm. Oh, right, so we're on two sets of three. Two, three. I'm gonna, I reckon you're going to say, I've got my face. <laughs> I have got my face. See? <laughs> was that because it was a confident... Yeah, it's just, it, I just knew... I'll tell you why it's particularly confident. Why? Oh. I've got that, which is an eight, followed by that, which is nine, followed by that to be in last card. Yeah, you can check it all you like. It's not going to get you anywhere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Another star. Nope. I've got a two, a last card, and an out. Right. Right, so I've only got ten. Right, we're leading. Even Stevens. That is an out. Oh, no. Oh, did you see that? Oh, <laughs> I'm getting it. I didn't see it. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, no. Has he got it? Yeah. So you were sweating. I weren't expecting to get that card. How many's it run? Four! You've asked me that four times! Right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go I'm on. gonna one. I've got a last card. Whatever. Trevor. So I need to get you before yes. you get your phase. You do. So you've got twelve. I haven't got you've a twelve. You've got a twelve. I get... On my life, I haven't got. That. What have you got then? I'm not telling you. Still. <laughs> I have it, I have it, I have it. You would have won. Oh, no. Fraze just got a big time. Alright. Yeah. A big time. Right, so, are you ready? 25, 50, <gasps> 60, oh. 70, 80, 90. <laughs> And you'll give me a no yes! chance. No. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you this. Our feast has arrived, as you can tell. We've gone for 
quarter duck, which we wouldn't usually get, so that's a bit of a Found treat it. for us. It's, it's that small, isn't it? Um, and pancakes and some egg fried rice, chips, lemon chicken is always my fave. What's that one you get? Be uh, Cantonese sauce. Cantonese sauce. Free spring rolls and prawn crackers. If you try to get some sleep, if you give up the fight, if only just for a bit, there's a new day. Voila, Tom has finally finished my beautiful box of goodness. Look at this. I'm gonna just pretend package. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it didn't work. There we go. And then you open the padlock, in you go, and out your parcel comes. Ta da! And now we're on to seeing what Boris has to say this evening. You guys will obviously know by now what the sitch is. However, uh, we're predicting a second, well, will it actually be third lockdown in the UK or in England? Or there was talks of a tier five. Tom's still trying to sort that thing out. See, I'm gonna see what Boris has to say. I'm gonna have a piece of cake, my second piece, because it's my birthday. And then I also put my gift in the bottom of this TV unit. These are, <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> These are Christmas and Winter White Company magazines, but I do have a couple more, so I might stack them up and make that a bit of a feature. Stack of White Company magazines. And then we've got my three books here now. So yeah, eventually I'd like to have this one on display though, because I love the image on the front. So I think if we get got a like glass coffee table somewhere in the house eventually when we do the renovations, this will be on display. Part one of two of 24 hours in police custody tonight, which I'm so excited for. It's literally one of my favorite programs ever. Looks good. Postman pad, Danny's black, oh my god. What was the cat called? Jess. Jess, that's it. With most of the country already under extreme measures, it's clear that we need to do more. We must therefore go into a national lockdown, which is tough enough to contain this variant. So there we have it. To round off this vlog and end this birthday, we're going back into lockdown. We are, however, gonna have another game of this phase 10 before my program starts tonight. And that is gonna conclude my birthday vlog 2021. Stark difference to last year's vlog where we were in South Africa visiting penguins on a beach. If you want a bit of sunshine on YouTube, then I'll leave a little link to last year's birthday vlog, which is a bit more exciting, but I had a good day nonetheless. I have broken a nail though, which is a little bit annoying, but apart from that, we're all good. So that concludes my birthday vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little one to share with you some of the fun that I got up to, the bits that I got for my birthday, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget if you want to check out Lily Silk for a wide range of silk products, then I will leave a direct link in the description box along with a discount code for you. I hope you enjoy shopping, let me know any purchases that you do make, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys!